Hemostasis, coagulation cascade. What two pathways can initiate the coagulation cascade? The coagulation cascade can be initiated by either the intrinsic pathway or the extrinsic pathway. What is the final step of either pathway? Both intrinsic and extrinsic pathway will end with the activation of factor 10, which is the beginning of the common pathway. Let's first look at the intrinsic pathway. What activates the intrinsic pathway? Exposure to collagen is a common activator to the intrinsic pathway. What is the first functional coagulation group of the intrinsic pathway? First coagulation group is the contact group. What factors are included in the contact group? The contact group includes precalacrine, high molecular weight caninogen, factor 11, and factor 12. The intrinsic pathway begins with factor 12. When exposed to collagen, factor 12 becomes activated. There is a main function for 12A as well as a secondary function. First is to react with factor 11. With the cofactor HMWK, 12A activates factor 11. The secondary function of 12A is to react with precalacrine. And again with cofactor HMWK, 12A activates precalacrine into calacrine. Calacrine is needed in the activation of factor 12. And in this process, factor 12 and precalacrine activate each other. What is the next functional coagulation group after the contact group? This is the prothrombin group. What factors make up the prothrombin group? The prothrombin group includes factors 2, 7, 9, and 10. Continuing the intrinsic pathway with activated factor 11, factor 9 reacts with 11A and becomes activated. 9A reacts with factor 10, and now factor 10 is activated which completes the intrinsic pathway. These events require a few minutes, whereas the extrinsic pathway is completed within a few seconds. The release of what clotting factor into the bloodstream initiates the intrinsic pathway? Tissue factor, also known as factor three. Now that factor three is in the bloodstream, contact with factor seven, activates factor 7 and reacts with factor 10. Along with factor 3, 7A activates factor 10 and completes the extrinsic pathway. Once factor 10 has become activated, the common pathway begins. 10A reacts with factor 2. What is another name for factor 2? Factor 2 is also known as prothrombin an inactive enzyme. Factor 2 is the last factor in the prothrombin group. What do these factors require to be functionally synthesized? Vitamin K is required for synthesis along with factor 4 also known as calcium ion. What is the last functional group of coagulation? Fibrinogen group. What factors are included in the fibrinogen group? Factor 1, 5, 8, and 13 make up the fibrinogen group. What is factor 2 converted into? Factor 2, or prothrombin, is converted into thrombin, which have four main functions involving coagulation. The first function for 2A is to react with factor 8, activating factor 8 which is needed in the activation of factor 10 in the intrinsic pathway. The second function for 2A is to react with factor 5, which in its active form 5A combines to activate factor 2. The third function of activated factor 2 is to react with factor 1. What is the name for factor 1? Factor 1 is also called fibrinogen. 
the last function of 2a is the activation of factor 13. Thrombin converts fibrinogen into fibrin, and thrombin also activates factor 13. Together, fibrin and 13a creates a stable fibrin clot, completing the coagulation cascade.